Hey, Scott Butch Bouchard here, going over the new 2010 Conspiracy Board. Conspiracy Board was developed around our new team rider, Aaron Rathy. Worked with him quite a bit in the off-season with the shape and design of this board. Added a lot of new features to this board to make it the most unique board to date in the line. Starting off, the Conspiracy has a really, really blended, small three-stage rocker. Made a very blended rocker running out of the, out of the three-stage rocker and then really exaggerated the amount of kick in the tips. This board's running a 2.7 inches of rocker, which has as much rocker as any board that I've shaped in the Byerly line to date, but at the same time and how it's blended out, it's the fastest rocker yet. Uh, to make the rocker even faster, I added some internal concaves to this board. So basically, the water is gonna flow through where I dished out the concaves, it flattens the rocker through the belly. So the belly of this board runs almost a 12 inch flat spot in the belly but at the same time, you only have two inches of flat on the rail. What this does, it allows the water to flow through the bottom of the board when you're riding on the flats, way more so. It lets the board be really, really fast when you're on the flats, but at the same time, when you lay it on rail, you have the three-stage rocker that gives you that big buck off the wake without the drag that you normally had if you run it all the way through the center line. And on this board, it actually has a double set of concaves. You have an outer concave with another concave blended into it. So between the multi-ridges of concaves, it lands really soft, does a great job of breaking the water. Also, when I was working with Aaron, he really wanted a board that was super loose, that released off the wake really easy, but still tracked really well. And I did a couple different things to make this happen for him this year. It's the first board to date where I've actually pulled the beams away from the tip of the tail, moved them forward. I also used one of the smallest, shortest beams to date on this board, which is gonna make it really loose and, and really easy and free on the water. But at the same time, added some super exaggerated channels that are really grippy and add a lot of extra traction. Also to make this board track even better, it's the first board to date I've ever done this with. I ran a curvature through the belly of the board, which that curvature allows you to get on rail really easy. Once you get on rail though, from, from almost your boot, your boot point out to the tip of the board, the outline runs completely straight on this board. And what this allows the board to do is once it gets over on a rail with a curvature of the belly, it locks on this rail line and wants to hold that line real easy. If a board has curvature going all the way out the tail, once you get it on rail, it wants to keep turning the whole way in. Well, this straight line is something new that I developed this year with Rathi. And what it does, it allows the board to lock on edge and hold an edge so much better. The Conspiracy for me tracks just as good as the Assault. The main difference being, it's so much looser on the water. It's way more of a free ride, drifty board. But once you lock it on edge, it maintains and holds its rail super good. Uh, also on this board, we did a lot of different things on the deck to make this board as thin volumed as possible. And this is going to make this the lightest board to date for Byerly with a PU core. We actually developed a brand new foam for this board and it is our lightest polyurethane core yet. Uh, it has super, super impact resistant sidewalls. We did the full fiberglass sidewalls all the way around on this board. which we developed last year. We're the first people in the industry to ever utilize it, which some of our competitors have jumped on and already imitated us with. We also, for this year, I ran a solid fiberglass stringer that runs the whole way around the platform that's built into the foam. So when this board's glassed, the outer glass bonds with a fiberglass stringer that wraps around the deck perimeter and the fiberglass sidewalls. So basically you have seamless technology here. Your sidewall is fo solid fiberglass. There is no seam to split open on this board. It's the most impact resistant board. And also at the same time, it adds a lot of torsional flex. Uh, this board, we made it so thin in the tip and tails that it's got a ton of flex in the tip and tails. But with the stringers on the, on the deck platform and the sidewalls, it keeps the board from twisting torsionally. And what this does is it allows it to flex more tip to tail, really spring and load off the wake where most people's flex boards right now in the marketplace tend to twist from rail to rail. And when they twist from rail to rail, they pop, up, pop off the wake inconsistently. And you never get that same response and that same snap off the wake. So I wanted to develop a board for Aaron that had a lot of flex, but at the same time, had a really consistent, solid ride. Hey guys, we offered the Byerly Conspiracy in two sizes this year. It comes either in the 54 or the 56.